So I picked this up for a bargain a couple of weeks ago. It's a so older Sony tripod, but it's in excellent condition. I picked it up for half of the retail price. And it's got this quick mount on the top of it. Now I've just ordered three quick mount uh, three quick mount shoes to go on there. So I've got one for the bottom of the camera, uh, one for my GoPro, and one for a phone attachment as well. And I'm impatient, as most of you will know, so I am going to try and make um, my own little hot shoe. I've got some... uh, so the idea of this is this thread, which is the same thread that goes into the bottom of the camera, quarter inch, UNC. I'm gonna make a little shoe that goes in here. There's a quick release mount. There's a little 45 degree chamfer. It's maybe 45 degrees. Nah, it's not that steep. Little chamfer there, there's one on the front, and then a chamfer on the back, because that fits in there as well. All right, so I was just playing around with this little bit of Bakelite, and it turns out that it's actually the perfect width with these lips on the bottom. And for the temporary mount that I'm gonna make, it's actually gonna work brilliantly. So I just took the tiniest bit too much out of it and now it's loose. So I'm going to try and add a little bit of material to it. And hopefully it tightens up. But yeah, I took too much out of it. Spewing. All right, it looks kind of rough, but it's actually super stable. I'm gonna put that over the top of that. I'm gonna trim that so it's just the right height for, uh, for the camera, which I think they usually only protrude a couple of mil. You can use this as an example. So it's only out three threads. And then it should be sweet. Just managed to make up something. My GoPro, GoPro tripod mount. Make up something that has on the truck there you go this can also screw on it as well via that there you go. I think it's a little bit off level but I think maybe that's not level on the table either. That is it, level. Right, here we go. See so if we can do this one handed. Maybe two handed. There we go, it's not super stable like the shoe. No, you know, actually, it's pretty goddamn stable. There you go. Rocks around a little bit. There's a little bit of a gap there, but oh, that pops out. Yeah. 
Definitely need to make that longer. Hmm. All right, as dodge as this looks, it is just temporary, just so I could get the tripod to use it this afternoon. But all I did was just cut a piece of steel to fill up that groove, because I just overcut. The light here is really bad. Just overcut that groove a bit, so that bit of steel just fills in that void. is in there solid and that is not pulling out so now it's on there good and well I'll just mount it to the camera it's nice and firm That is in there and on. So the purpose of this video wasn't to reinvent the wheel. It was literally to uh, make something to temporarily, I mean, there's no reason why that can't be uh, kept forever. It's not ideal because it's, uh, because it hasn't got a super flush mount on the base of the camera. So it's kind of mounted to probably half inch worth of rubber there there is a bit of flex in it the flex gives over the whole thing though and as you can see the shoe moves in it a little bit but it's not in a position where it can fall out falling back so fine i could probably tighten that screw up a little bit more but uh yeah i mean the tripod itself moves a little bit anyway There you go. Basically for free only because I had this bit of Bakelite lying around. Which is for a rhino rack, I think. Trim that out. It already had the hole in it. I've just used the hole that was already in it for the orientation. And screwed it on. There you go. With a little bit of thinking, you can make anything work. Peace.